so far the legendary battles have been pretty easy, but I am not going to lie. I must have tried this battle at least five times and I've lost horribly. Tried a few different tactics, they haven't worked, so I'm going to try a new one. I have a bunch of Marauders, I have uh, two Dragon Ogres, one uh, Colex Sun Eater, two Gore Beast Chariots. These are perhaps the most important units next to Colex and um, the Dragon Ogres. I'm keeping my Marauder Horsemen out of bowshot range of the Orcs. And I want to use them to run down any routing units. Now the problem isn't the army you see here. The army here consists of a bunch of boys, arrow boys, and uh, Mugga Barracks on a wyvern, Orc Warboss on a wyvern. Now the, the thing is though, on legendary difficulty, the enemy gets 10 plus to its morale and I get a penalty of minus 5 to my morale. Uh, so the net effect is minus, uh, minus 15 compared to a normal battle, which means your units run away faster, enemy units don't run away as quickly. So pretty good morale here for these, uh, for these units. And that's especially going to be a problem for the undead reinforcements, because it takes longer for them to start crumbling, they stay in the fight forever and makes it very hard. So my basic tactic here is to stop the orc war boss from attacking Kolek. I'm going to use the Gore Beast Chariots for sort of baiting Mugga Badax. Then I'm going to surround him with the uh, Dragon Ogres. So here he comes. He's going to land uh, at the, the Gore Beasts. I'm go just going to continue to give attack orders with the Gore Beasts. Send in uh, Colex Sun Eater. Send in the Dragon Ogres into a blob of boys. And then I'm going to start sending in my cavalry marauder horsemen towards these archers because these archers will do brutal damage if left alone. So charging into the archers, using the Gore Beast Chariot to disrupt enemy formations, then send in Colex Sun Eater. As you can see, the Orc Wyvern has a hard on for Colex and he's going to do a lot of damage to Colex. So I really need to start attacking. He almost broke Colex there, so I need to start uh, attacking him back there, get my marauders in as fast as possible. Stop the Orc Arab boys from firing. This is very intense. Uh, the, the, I mean, the micro on in, the, in this particular battle, yeah, it's probably the most intense so far because uh, these of these reinforcements that are coming in. So bats are coming in from this side, and uh, boar guys are coming in from here. And that's a bit of a problem. The bats aren't a problem. They're mainly annoying because they stop my units for uh, for some time. Now ganged up on by Dragon Ogres and Kolek himself, Mugga Badax is going down. The uh, bar guys, however, are a bit of a problem. I'm going to try to get my cavalry out of here. Not going to be very easy though. One of the Dragon Ogres is going down, I managed to kill the Oak War Boss. I need to make sure these units do not come back from routing, so I'm sending my horsemen against them. Uh, now I want to create a death blob. I'm sending my uh, sending my Gore Beast Chariots through enemy units, trying to do as much damage as possible to those last remaining units, and then I'm trying to create a death blob. Meaning I have my Dragon Ogres surrounded by Marauders, the Marauders tank hit points for the Dragon Ogres. I actually had to pull out Kolek at this point, because uh, he took too much damage in this blob. So just sending in Marauders, trying to stop the Flyers from going going up and down and uh, using the dragon ogres to deal the damage there's a war guys that came here that is a bit of an issue because it has regeneration and uh, yeah let's see if it regenerates or does it have regeneration yeah it has regeneration so i need to surround it uh, preferably make it attack my marauder since it has a bonus versus my dragon ogres Surround the war flying war guys. I'm going to fast forward this because there, as you can see, there's quite some time remaining. I wanted to send the gore beasts up here to do some damage to the undead on foot early on. Also, there usually comes a wind of death, and if I had my blob there, the wind of death would would make me lose the battle essentially. So sending the gore beasts through the units, trying to damage the necromancers a bit. And like I said, the gore beasts are very important because. Now the undead focus on the gore beasts, and 
that gives me very important time to deal with uh, to deal with the the, vor uh, the, the terror guys. It's not the vor guys. It's the terror guys. So it would be crumbling a lot faster if this wasn't on legendary difficulty. My Gorbis, I'm just uh, sending them around, trying to build up some speed, doing a bit of damage. And 100 kills there, 136 there. Very, very important in this battle for the late game reinforcements. Even though they are lowly zombies, skeletons, and a grave guard unit, uh, they are, with that bonus to leadership, they become tar pit units, extraordinary tar pit units. So I'm going to have to try to redirect a few units with my Marauder Horsemen. I can't let my units get bogged down in this, because then I'm going to lose. Sniping the Necromancers, of course that's going to be important. So whenever I can, I'm going to try to sneak in and do a bit of damage to the Necromancer. Gore Beast isn't that effective against the Necromancer, but at this point any damage counts, and it also means they won't be able to cast any spells to my front here. Now the zombies are going to defeat the Chaos Marauders here, amazingly enough. So now I've created a small opening, I'm redirecting units with my Marauder Horsemen, and now I can start rearcharging units with the Gore Beast Chariot to inflict uh, leadership penalties. There we go, also getting some kills, but making these units crumble is going to be very, very important, especially with the Grave Guard, because they have a lot of armor. So my uh, Kolak almost gets caught out here, but I see it and I manage to move in. Over here, the Marauder is still losing against the Zombies, or winning slightly actually, but I think they're going to lose in the end. One unit has crumbled. Trying to hit uh, Hans von Deal with Kolak, but Kolak swings and misses. Meanwhile, the Gorby's chariots getting nice kills. Doing a bit of damage to the Nurka Monster, doing damage to the Graveguard. So I want to engage with my Marauders first and then send in the Dragon Ogres. Just give a few units some love taps, reduce their leadership a bit. Always keep the Gorby's chariots moving. Uh, there's a lot going on, so I'm not able to march with them perfectly, but I think it's going well enough at this point. Again, try to target the Necromancer with Kolak, but I need to get Kolak out of here because he's starting to get surrounded. So using the Gore Beasts to create some, uh, create some openings. Um, the leadership is getting affected now, uh, not into crumble territory yet for the undead, but we're getting there, we just need to kill the necromancers. Now the necromancers are all alone, singled out, the gore beasts are pulling away the infantry, this is a perfect situation for my uh, Shagoth and my, uh, for Kolak and for my, uh, my dragon ogres to go and engage the necromancers. The Necromancers are in trouble, killed one. Oh, you see the impact on the leadership of the undead. So now I can use the Gore Beasts to just run through units, make them start crumbling, like here. The uh, zombies start crumbling, keep doing that. Play, uh, play for the long haul here. Focus everything I have on single units, make them crumble, pull out, single unit make it crumble, pull out, and you can see it's very close because Kolak is is uh, starting to struggle in terms of leadership. But if I start to support with Gorby's chariots in these fights, uh, then I'm going to be able to make the undead crumble a lot faster. So now I'm down to my most important units. I've lost the unit of Dragon Ogres, but I still have my, still have my uh, Gore Beasts. And Kolak is at, let's see, 600 health. But now I can make the units crumble, pull out, So this unit is going to crumble completely. Keep doing that with all of the units. Gore Beasts smashing in. Gore Beasts smashing in, pulling out. The Gore Beasts are getting very nice kills at this point. 
now things are starting to look very good. Although the balance of power doesn't quite agree. <laughs> I have 8 troops left. But I can keep doing this. Send them in against the Graveguard. Pull out. I think I've lost the Gorby's uh, chariot now. Yeah, I've lost the Gorby's chariot unit. But I have 3 Gorby's remaining in this unit. So I think it's going to be fine. As the units keep moving, I can just plow through them. Disengage. Need to pull away for a bit. Send in the gore beasts as the units are moving through two zombie units. Pull out, should kill both zombie units. Uh, keeping them in for a bit too long against the graveguard there. The zombie units crumble and now I am sure I've got it. I just need to make sure that Kolak is two hits away from getting killed. So I need to use my gore beasts to maximum effect against the graveguard. Graveguard gets invocation of Nahek cast on them. So they replenish a bit here. But uh, keep hammering them with the gore beasts and they're sure to go down. Hans von Deal is also very damaged. The Graveguard crumbling. And now we're down to the Necromancer. The thing is though, my uh, Kolak and my Dragon Ogres, although I have a few models in the unit, they, uh, they are very close so to dying, both of them. My Gorby cha uh, Gorby's chariot is doing fine, so I can keep knocking down the Necromancer like that. And then I can just send in send in the Dragon Ogres first. So hopefully the uh, Necromancer focuses on the Dragon Ogres and doesn't attack Kolek. Here we go. Getting staggered, knocked back. And here comes Kolek to finish the job. Well, the Necromancer should start crumbling soon. Good swing from Kolak. Finally! Finally, this was a hard battle. <sighs> Very close, but uh, it comes down to the Gorby's chariots, really, if you look at the kills. The Dragon Ogres kill big things and the uh, gore beasts kill small things so i probably could have used my marauder horsemen better my marauders did a fine job i think but it, yeah the gore beasts 366 to 26 128 for the dragon ogres if you look at the kills from the orcs the orcs orc grave robbers didn't get too many kills but here you can see how dangerous a unit of our arab boys can become the arab boys killed more than the rest of the orc army combined for the undead the skeleton warriors did a lot of damage against my marauders, so did the graveguard. Bats got some kills, but this is the most dangerous army. The terrorgeist and the, uh, the vargeists, uh, th they can do so much damage in breaking units and running them down as they route. But I'm pretty happy that I was able to, to finish this battle on legendary difficulty, because it was a very hard one. And there are others that are probably harder, but I haven't tried them as many times as I've tried this one. Strength and honor.